my friends, we're going to integrate sine squared x cos cubed x. And it's going to be awesome because it is a simple substitution. And I'll show you how to solve these types of integrals. So if we do substitute cos squared equals to 1 minus sine x squared using a trig identity, it gives us this. Now, this looks more complicated, but it, it's actually not because we've left one of the coses here. So we turned everything into sine except for one of the cos. And the reason is because the derivative of sine x is cos x. So we can do a u substitution if u equals sine of x, then the derivative du equals to cos of x dx. So this cos of x dx is right here, right? So this cos x dx becomes du. So our integral becomes the integral of u squared times 1 minus u squared, which we can distribute it in. So u squared minus u to the fourth, and we can now party. It's the reverse power rule, uh, giving us this in all its glory. And after we substitute back, my friends, this is our integral in all its glory. You absolutely need to check out this type of integral where both powers are odd, we're both odd exponents. The more integrals you do, the better you'll get. You can survive. Cheers.